Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to do a comparison of all these different tie knots. Now, there are a lot of different tie knots. We have the four in hand, the simple, the Windsor, the half Windsor, Nikki, and the 10 second knot. Now, there are many more, but these are the only ones that I know how to tie, and I've done videos, tutorials on how to tie all of these. And if you're interested in tying any of them, the links will be in the description for all these. So, in this video, I will be discussing how easy they are to tie, how they look like, and just their overall rating. So, let's start with the most popular and probably most simple, the foreign hand knot. None of the, well, let me just start by saying none of these look horrible, none of these look horribly awful, but there are some that look better than others. This is decent looking, it's not the best. You see, we got a triangular shape, not quite symmetrical but it's decent it's really easy to tie anyone can learn it even me <laughs> that was kind of a bad joke but and then it doesn't take much to tie so the narrow end will be long so if you have one of those ties that's really long i do not recommend this knot but anyway let's keep going and it's it's really basic just yeah so now, moving on to the simple knot. This knot is also pretty easy to tie, but sometimes it can turn out weird. But it, it doesn't look great, and it's just decent. It's easy, but sometimes it can turn out weird because there's kind of a weird step to it. You start with this one upside down. Next knot is the Windsor knot. And this one is by far my favorite. It's the most completely symmetrical knot. It's like a perfectly symmetrical triangle triangle. And it's not it's not horribly easy to learn, but once you've learned it, you'll never forget it. It's kind of like that. And yep, and there's steps that you can remember. There's no weird steps like pinching or turning anything weird. It's anything you would expect from tying a tie. Now this is the half Windsor and yeah, it literally said it's li the not literally is its name because it you it it's a Windsor and half the steps. So I don't like this one as much. It still looks okay, but you know if you're not going to be tying it as much, it's going to be easier and quicker. You know it's not going to look quite as good. It still looks good if you're in a hurry. It is a good knot. You'll still look good. And it doesn't take quite as much to tie, so if you have one of those longer ties, this will probably work with it. This knot is a kind of complicated to tie. The steps are a bit strange. You start with it in a weird direction. You start most ties. You start with the wide end on your right and the narrow end on your left, and the back side facing your shirt. This one you start with the narrow end on the right and the wide end on your left and upside down. So it's a little weird. But it looks good. It looks similar to the Windsor, but not quite as good. But I still like it. But it's weird because you have to pull on. So far, all of these you have to pull on the left end, or the left of the. You have to pull on the left to untie it. This you pull on the right. And same with this one. But yeah. Now, this knot is. The 10 second knot. Now, I'm just calling it that. It doesn't really have a name, but it's. It, like, you literally can tie it in 10 seconds. I did a, 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 a tutorial for this yesterday. It doesn't look great, but it's it looks pretty good. I mean, not the best, but. Um, it, it's not the stablest, it's not the sturdiest. Sometimes it can fall apart kind of easily. And this you also pull on the what what or the right end and then you may be like well these all look the same to me what's the difference with some of them well you see if we take the windsor here and this is same with the half windsor and the four in hand but all these other ones are different you see we pull if we flip this upside down we pull on the um how do i do this with one hand you just pull on the left end and it comes apart that easily. But if we take the Nikki knot, for instance, we have to pull on the right. And then it doesn't come apart. Like, see, I'm pulling this. It doesn't come apart. 
it becomes kind of a mess, and sorry, I can't even show it to you, but, and then it can get tangled sometimes, so that, if, that's the one thing that separates this knot from being my, from being my second favorite, from my first favorite being the Windsor, and this one, or actually, this one comes apart easily, too, but, see, the simple, if we do this, it doesn't really come apart, you still got the knot formed right here, so then we have to take this all out, and it's kind of a hassle. The simple knot is definitely my least favorite out of all of these, even though it's simple to tie. But all of these come apart easily. So, that was my comparison out of all these six different tie knots. I've done tutorials for all of them, like I said, and links for all of them will be in the description. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace out.